Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Denise and welcome back to the Art Survival video. And today we will actually continue our um, exploration uh, towards the you know these mini bosses that are uh, inside towns or cities. So previously we did a lot of stuff like um, uh, you know the two by two bandits, the gnats hive, uh, and then madman house as well. Uh, Luther game etc etc uh, but today we will continue uh, this is called giant and hill so supposedly there will be a queen ant over here like or ant queen um, you know there's a soldier and I think a worker ant etc etc and we will have queen ant as well or ant queen I think uh, but yeah um, let's just see so first by the looks right this is the looks how it looks um, it's just like ant hill, like your <laughs> casual, you know, like regular ant hill, um, except that there's this uh, veiny roots over here. Um, also, you can kind of see over there. There is the green eyes. Kind of looks like eyes, uh, kinda. But yeah, okay. There you go. This is the <laughs> picture. There's some ants here. Uh, it was disgusting. The ants had apparently built their home out of anything and everything they could find: trash, filth, rotting remains. But even this pile of absolute junk could be hiding something valuable. Um, I think my take is still the same as the previous one. Like if if you are in the you know post apocalyptic world, you definitely don't want to mess with this kind of stuff. Uh, especially not alone. Specifically, um, you know maybe you can you know have some other people. Maybe you can start with fire. Or, I don't know, something that, you know, you can do from far away, for instance. Uh, so it, it's not, you know, like, a, you, you don't go there directly. Uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But since this is just a game, I guess, it's fine. You know, game logic. Am I right? Uh, yeah, let's just start. Um, yeah, let's just attack. Uh, I don't remember about my pet. Is my pet alright? Oh, okay, it's alright. Um... Okay, yeah, there you go. There's Queen of the Ants over there. Um, let's see here. What do I want to use? I think I'm just gonna use this at the moment. Oh, can I actually stun them? Maybe I can. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, I think I can. Um, uh, well, in that case, I will probably use fireworks, kinda. I only have 10 though, for some reason. I forgot to replenish this again. Uh, yeah, let's just use this. Uh, the reason why fireworks is because... As you can see, it only requires one action point, while, you know, the other standard that I have, like grenade, yeah, all of this stuff requires two, um, two action points. So, you know, just for safety reason, I will use this. Maybe, you know, after this, I will do another one. Maybe I will use something else. But yeah, I uh, also will use uh, Raven because, you know, Raven's being Raven. Um, okay, there you go. Um, okay, there's Queen of the Ants or Ant Queen over here uh looks interesting though uh unfortunately it doesn't show the um, what is it like uh that I, like this one uh pincer i think that is what it's called so um, and queen apparently uh you know i've been you know looking some uh looking at some uh what is it like accounts with you know, uh, and um, keeper pretty much, and the queen, the ant queen, actually has this long pincer um, like this, but this is a little bit too, you know, too small. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe there is different species of ants. I'm not sure, but uh, the ant actually has a very long pincer like this, but it's a little bit longer. Uh, so yeah, maybe it's up here. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, but uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, ability, okay, let's take a look at the ability. Also, health is 3,800 3, without any armor for some reason. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's Maybe they want to, you know, show that or mention that, you know, uh, it's the leader, you know, the Ant Queen. So, it doesn't have, you know, like a high uh, protection, right? Because, you know, there is this guard, officer, soldier that will protect her so yeah maybe that's the reason i have no idea uh but yeah um anyway 3800 without armor uh healing an ally for 500 to 600 that is very interesting uh also very specific i have no idea um oh it's actually arranged okay i was about to say 
I don't know if you know this is a melee or you know a range thing, but apparently there's range here. And then terrain, okay. Uh, the walls don't block. Oh, this is the you know. Uh, okay, there we go. There uh, apparently the the queen and is actually on top of something hill maybe. It just makes sense. Um, also, one thing that is interesting is over here, movement range is zero, which means this and queen over here, the queen of the ant, or let's just call it and queen, um, she will not go anywhere basically. So if you go here or if you go far away, the the ant will not try to approach you because it only has zero range, uh, movement range, which is quite interesting. Um, it's kind of the same as the appendages, uh, they will not move, so yeah. Uh, and then an officer, this is just your regular ants I believe, and then ant guard as well. And then there is an soldier and an officer, so in total there are five. Now I have no idea if this is the same throughout all the giant hills, or maybe there, there are some, you know, some other locations where uh, there might be more than five, less than five, I have no idea, but I guess we'll see another one after this. Um, and then one thing interesting as well is that there is this anthill over here. Um, I have no idea if, you know, you can destroy this or not. I guess we can try like this, uh, or maybe use PKM. Uh, I think you, you can do that as well. Yep, as you can see, we can target these three, these boxes, and also this uh, anthill. Uh, but yeah. But I'm not going to do that just yet because there are so many of them. Uh, can I actually stun? Oh, I can. Okay, I, I can stun. Okay, you can. We can. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, let's finish one by one. Which one are you? You are the end soldier. I have PKM. Yeah, the PKM will be able to one shot. I think I will go here so that maybe I can reach for this one as well. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's actually go to the corner. Uh, you can exit as well, which is interesting. There is an escape tile, so if you are not sure whether or not you can fight, you can always, you know, run away, <coughs> which is always interesting. Uh, good to have as well, because sometimes, you know, there's sometimes you um, you accidentally enter this kind of battle, and you know you are outpowered and you cannot go out uh, except you just die, right? So. Yeah, having this escape tile is always nice. Uh, let's go here. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be it. And turn, let's see here. Okay, there you go. That is the healing ability, 500. But I kind of want to see the attack though, huh? Can I like try to kill something without, you know, just kill? I mean, killing something without, you know, leaving any health. Maybe this one? Uh, a little bit of stretch, I guess, 29. Uh, no, 3,000 actually, but yeah, this is 28 to 36, which is above average, should be enough, so yeah. Uh, okay, there you go, that is a kill, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, end my turn, I guess. Or maybe I can stun this one, uh, no, if I stun, uh, it will actually, you know, like, um, hurt, and uh, the queen will actually heal, right? So yeah, let's just end the turn, let's see the attack here. Let's just end the turn as well. Let's see if it attacks. Okay, uh, it missed, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so it will attack for 200 and... Ooh, it just one-shot my uh, raven. Uh, all right. Uh, so it, it's supposed to hit for that. Also, oh, I just realized as well, that is a lot of damage. So I guess you need to be careful when you're, uh, you know... Uh, I forgot to mention about the damage, actually, which is the more important thing, uh, you know, uh, rather than looking at the health. Um, yeah, let's just one-shot this, and let's do this. Um, it, I think it can reach me from there, but I'm not sure. Let's just end the turn. Uh, oh, okay, I can. I can get... Oh. Oh, I see. So the type of the attack is special, I think. Yeah, okay. I got slowed. Interesting. I thought the attack will just be, you know, regular attacks or acid burn, you know, acid attack. But no, this and will actually, uh, actually gave me slow debuff over here. Movement range in battles minus one. Duration is for three turns. This, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess. Yeah, that is very interesting, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna end the turn. Let's see if, you know, if the uh, queen attacks again. Will it actually, you know, like, uh, 
give me a double slow debuff or something. I don't know. So yeah, let's just end the turn. Okay, I got hit. Oh, it actually pulls me towards the queen, which is again very interesting uh, attack actually. Okay, I just know that. Uh, that, that is new. Um, also, this stays at two turn now, so it doesn't even replenish. It doesn't stack. It doesn't replenish. Uh, yeah, which you know, uh, all right, I guess. Okay, so the type of the attack is range. Uh, it can attack you from anywhere basically because this is like literally the the furthest location. Uh, now I have no idea if you can you know push this with spear to this corner and then you just go here. You know, see what's gonna happen. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's an idea. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen for sure. Also, this nest over here, it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, it just blocks your, uh, you know, like, way, I guess. Like, yeah, like, it just blocks your way, I think. Uh, which is interesting. Um, I thought that it's gonna, you know, the Queen Anne will summon more ants from these uh, Anne Hills, which is not the case here. Uh, can I actually destroy that that is the question uh let's see this one first um okay i can okay okay so it's it can be destroyed which is you know i guess it's it doesn't matter i guess uh so yeah let's just finish this and let's see the loot uh and yeah then we will do another one okay we got blue valuable crate and purple valuable crate so this is uh what, what did I call this again? Rare, I think. Rare and epic. So, yeah. Let's close. Uh, I got myself... Okay, there is cable, rubber parts, medicine, and bathtub. Okay, interesting. A uh, bathtub is very useful. Uh, you, need to, you need to have this if you want to build yourself a brick house. Uh, weapon box, it's alright, I guess. Um, you know, nowadays, it, it, it's not that great. Also, there is watch and fridge. And also small safe. Oh, medium safe. Okay, sorry about that. It's medium one. Uh, okay, there is another, you know, smaller one. This is called small safe. Okay, we got this bathtub and also fridge. Fridge you can disassemble or you can just keep it as is. And I think I will actually do an another video about talking about this household item. Um, and, you know, my theory about what they are going to be. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um... Anyway, there is that. Uh, yeah, this weapon box is not that great uh, because I think I already mentioned about this as well in the Cursed Coin trade. You can actually get this from Cursed Coin from the Halloween event and um, it doesn't actually drop a functional weapon. Like, let's just open over here. Yeah, it only uh, drops the broken weapons, which is you know, kind of, you know, like a useless kind of because, I mean, you can still use them, but it's, it's inefficient. And once it breaks, it's going to break forever. So, yeah, let's do this another one over here. I think there's another one. Yeah. Okay. I already marked the location just, you know, just before I recorded this so that, you know, I, I have um idea about where things are. So, yeah. Um, okay. Let's just go i guess no uh my raven is dying um i think i'm gonna use something else maybe wolf wolf is a, is a good idea as, as well maybe fox because the fox can you know summon things which might be useful uh let's see here okay let's go here let's attack um okay uh okay uh, i will also mention about things that can be improved for this one as well after this uh, you know, like, uh, my suggestion, basically, but, okay, now, let's just go with the fox, because I kind of want to know, you know, like, uh, if the fox summoning things will actually help or not, also, if I can summon on top of the anthill or not, so, yeah, uh, for this one, I'm not gonna use fireworks, because, uh, you know, like I said, I want to use something else, maybe fire weapon, uh, I do have this flamethrower, uh, I also have this fireball scroll. Um, where is my? Oh, this one. Uh, the 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 bow from the Halloween event. What is it called again? Helsing. Yeah, Helsing. Um, I might use uh, Helsing or scroll. Uh, let's use scroll actually because it only requires one action points. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. Uh, the other one is still the same. Uh, let's just start. 
uh, okay can I actually can this do something I mean this is you know supposed to be like fire damage right so I wonder if this will do anything you know like extra damage uh, but I don't think so I don't know um, like obviously it increases right but because uh, it is because I also have the you know increased damage against mutants so it's probably not that but I've, I have no idea uh, it's also still the same for this and plus the queen and the layout is still the same as well so yeah uh, I have no idea actually does this increases more than 30% or not huh I don't know uh, <laughs> yeah I have no idea 30% by base base by the way not you know like this because obviously you know this is already increased because of the um, my polar armor uh, this one increases damage uh, so yeah, but anyway, let's just retry. Uh, like like previously, let's just go to the corner uh, and then attack this one. Eighty eight percent, which means I can actually miss. Uh, I don't miss. Okay, that is nice. Uh, and then this one as well. Um, okay, that is also probably an interesting, you know, like a strategy as well. Um, if you leave something hurt like this without killing which means uh, the queen will actually heal first right because it's prioritizing that uh, which means that um, you know like uh, it's not gonna attack you because it has to heal so that's interesting uh, now let's summon this one over here can I actually do that I can what do I summon oh it's just rats uh, I, I thought it's gonna summon ants or something but apparently not uh, yeah let's just go here I guess let's end the turn let's see here okay it heals first yeah like I said right it will prioritize that oh this one is only nine uh, right um, guess I can use this uh, just to kill this one I guess also don't worry about moving they they don't have free attack I don't think yeah they don't have free attack ability which means that you can always move uh, you know like freely so yeah let's go here uh, let's do this. This will kill this one for sure. Uh, yep. And it gives fire damage, which is still the same 100. So I was about to say, right? But uh, after this, I will mention. Or like right now, I guess. So basically, um, because they are all insects, right? And it's ants, basically. And we all know in real life what ants are afraid of. Um, it's fire, right? It's fire and water, basically. Uh, you know, like uh, what if water, then they drown. If fire, well, they they got toast. Um, so yeah, what what I'm suggesting is that maybe maybe they can you know like um, give you know like ability. If you use like fire attack like this, it will actually you know do extra damage. Yeah, like this one over here. Instead of 100, maybe extra. I don't know, 50% or something, so that you will do 150 instead of regular 100. Um, as well as you know the damage from the weapon itself so yeah uh, because it's insect type and fire is effective against uh, insects so yeah um, that is my first suggestion um, and then the second suggestion will be um, I was you know like uh, just interested like if you can have you know the options in the beginning like uh, like when you do the looter camp basically uh, the looter camp. Uh, oh, I'm actually about to die here. Oh, I need to be careful. Uh, but I think it's fine. I can just do this. This will kill. Yes. And this one will die to the fire. And I can just go here, I believe. And then I can just... Oh, I cannot. Okay. Uh, oh, this is bad, actually. Uh, let's do this. That will get a lot of, you know, uh, fire even more. Uh, okay, let's go here. Let's protect our character by attacking this one. Okay, so yeah. Um, I, I guess it will die to Saipuha. Uh, no? Yeah, okay, it will die to that. Um, anyway, uh, if you remember the looter camp uh, from the previous one. So basically, we did the looter camp and there is another option, right? There is two options. One, if you want to attack the bandits or two, 
You can offer them vodka and it doesn't involve any battle but you don't get the valuable crates. Now the suggestions that I want to make for this one is that once you enter this area there is sec and there is two options. One, you attack. Two, you can do something like maybe use uh, a lot of molotov cocktail for instance. Uh, <clears throat> this one over here, you know, you probably will need like, I don't know, 10 for instance, uh, 10. Then a lot of cocktail just to you know burn the entire thing or um, even use the flamethrower as well I think flamethrower is cannon right uh, yeah I think so yeah this one over here flamethrower maybe you can use this uh, it will use like maybe 50% durability for instance and the result will be that you don't actually have to fight the ants because they, they're all dead uh, got burned um, and you know uh, you won't get this valuable crate but you still are you know able to uh, search the location like this for instance so yeah I mean that isn't also an option right just like make it like the looter camp basically uh, so yeah uh, okay so for the loot for this one I got still got the bathtub which is interesting and I got a large safe actually instead of medium so that is also nice and I got electric stove instead of the, um, uh, what was it again, what did I get, fridge, okay, which is also, you know, nice or whatever, right? Uh, so yeah, there you go, uh, that is all for the giant and hill. Uh, very interesting, for sure, very interesting combat, there's queen and queen, but unfortunately, as you can see over there, they're not that strong. I mean, don't get me wrong though, the second time I did, uh, you know, I tried to beat this one, I almost got killed myself. But, you know, it's pretty manageable. Uh, all you need is something that can stun, and yeah, they all can be stunned. Actually, I didn't try to stun the queen, but I did off cam, actually, it worked as well. You can actually stun the, the queen, uh, the end queen, so yeah. Uh, I guess that'll be it for this one. This is uh, another mini boss showcase. Uh, giant and hill, and also the reward we got bathtub. Apparently you got bathtub. Uh, maybe that's guaranteed. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that'll be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay healthy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Just to support the channel in general. You know, like just uh, give drop the subscribe uh, button. It's it's free. You know. It's just, you know, <laughs> you will not lose anything by doing that. So yeah, uh, also help the channel as well. Uh, I do have the goal of getting a thousand subs by the end of this year uh, so that I can start, you know, like um, monetizing the channel and then I can, you know, start improving the quality of the videos that I'm making. Uh, maybe I will make, you know, face cam as well just so that you can see my face for some reason if you like that. So yeah, but anyway... Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow in the next DR Survival video. Until then, see ya!